Hold up. You're a kid too? Is this a prank or something? Where, where are the cameras? Come on. Come on out. The joke is over. Sit down, Mrs. Davis. I can assure you that this is not a joke. Hold up, man. I'm confused. Are y'all the kids? How can y'all possibly help us without marriage? Who do you think we spend the most time around? Our parents. My name is Dr. Peterson, and this is my assistant, Landon. Today, we will be helping to save your marriage. First off, how long have you two been married? <sighs> Coming up this December makes nine years. We have two kids, Nathan and Natasha. They're eight and six years old. Great, good to know. Now, what seems to be the problem with you two? Y'all see what I have to put up with kids? I'm Dr. Peterson, sir. I'm sorry? What do you want from your husband? I want him to cater to my needs. Now, Mr. Davis, what are you missing from your wife? I'm a miss I'll tell you what I'm missing. I'm missing a woman who doesn't nag all the time. You see, Mr. Davis, if you show your wife a little more attention, keep the kids a few times, and give her a few of those massages, I think you'll have a happy wife. Amen to that. Okay, we will need to separate you two at this time. We have an escort that will lead you to your next location. Schaefer, could you please come and escort Mr. Davis to room 6? On behalf of the Rekindling Center, we would like to congratulate you both for rekindling your relationship today. Okay, everyone, calm down and let's try to see if we can work this out. Does anyone remember the way in? I don't. We're kids now. Everything looks different. Well, then what are we going to do? I say we pack up whatever we can carry and find that old man's house north of here. Okay. What if he comes back here to check on us? What if he doesn't? We're kids and not only have no way to defend ourselves out here. We only have a little food left and then what are we going to do? <coughs> Jasmine, can you open that cooler and grab me a bottle of water? I don't see any water here. Only three beers left. Okay, give me one. Hold on, Sergio. You can't drink beer. Why not? Because you're a kid. Kids don't drink alcohol, dummy. I guess you're right. Hey guys, stop, stop. I thought I heard someone moving the dishes. Yes, me too. I thought it was over here. Guys, I can't run. So leave me here and save yourself. We're not leaving you, girl. It's getting closer. Hey guys, look what I found. What you got, Zero? You see right here are the two shell corporations that we already know about, but it's two more and they have offshore accounts in the Cayman Islands. Did you discover any emails right from that area? Yes. They have been communicating with a gentleman named Francis Williams. Francis has access to, to the two bank accounts over here. Hey guys, what could I found? What you got, Daryl? Francis Williams' parents are La Villa and Scott Williams. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? Mr. Kringle's parents are La Villa and Timothy Kringle. Oh my gosh, they're half brothers. Bingo! 